And breaking tonight in a Kelly File exclusive, we have learned the powerful House Judiciary Committee is now planning to push back after President Obama is again accused of ignoring the Constitution and overstepping his authority. Welcome to the Kelly File, everyone. I'm Megan Kelly. We brought you the breaking news last night about the president's decision to delay parts of the Obamacare law for certain employers, again appearing to rewrite the law on the fly. This now marks more than two dozen changes he has made to the Affordable Care Act without ever going through Congress. And while executive orders are nothing new for presidential administrations, this newest addition prompted angry new reaction from lawmakers, joining the growing number of voices who say this president is going too far. Here is some of what we've heard in recent days. We have an increasingly lawless presidency. Presidents don't write laws, Congress does. What this president has done is unprecedented. What this president has done is to repeatedly change laws, even laws that he himself has pushed through Congress for his own political benefit. He's uh, violating the law. He's exceeded his constitutional authority. This president seems to have an extra frustration with it, uh, <laughs> and, and, and he reacts to it through unilateral actions that I think are counterproductive and, in my opinion, in some instances, borderline unconstitutional. For the president to simply declare, I'm going to change this law that Congress has passed is unconstitutional. He's outside the bounds of his Article II limitations. The president says he has a pen and a cell phone. But uh, the American people have a constitution, and the constitution doesn't give him the authority to unilaterally change the law. He's got to come to the Congress to do that. This president and this administration enforce the laws they choose to enforce and ignores the laws they want to ignore for political expedience. This is the very definition of lawlessness and something that the American people do not tolerate and will not tolerate, nor should they be required to tolerate. Well, you just heard mention of Article 2 of the U.S. Constitution. It establishes the executive branch and outlines the powers of the president, granting to him the authority to execute and implement the laws of the United States. But where does implementation end and rewriting begin? The constitutionality of this president's behavior turns on that critical question. And more and more legal scholars from the left and the right are saying that President Obama has crossed a constitutional line here.